Hey guys, how you doing? It is, what is today anyway? Tuesday. It is a gorgeous day here as usual in Sebastopol, California. Um, such an interesting climate here. I don't know where you're coming from, but go ahead and post in the comments where you are coming from right now. Where are you watching from? Which part of the country, which part of the world are you out there watching? Um, I would love to know where you're watching from. Oh my gosh, Bob, how are you doing? I haven't heard from you in a while. Um, so anyway, post in the comments, like I just said, post in the comments where you're watching from. Because I have to tell you, just before I get started on this topic that I'm going to be talking about, is... Um, I, I moved from Southern California where it was hot all the time in the summer, like hot at night, hot, just hot, right? Needed air conditioning. And I've lived in two climates where it was in, in the desert. I've lived in Arizona. I've lived in Palm Springs, California. And here I am uh, living up here in Sebastopol, up in Sonoma County in Northern California. And what crazy weather this is. Oh, I grew up in Nebraska, by the way, where it was was you know normal weather like normal fall winter spring all that kind of stuff the same thing well up here is really different so like a couple of days ago it was warm it was so hot you know it was hot um needed some air at night it was still warm sat out and watched the meteor showers last last week and then yesterday it was freezing i was literally in my parka <laughs> i was in my my heavy clothes and it was freezing it's so crazy and right now it's beautiful anyway okay back to my topic hey everyone good to see you guys please post in the comments where you're watching from i'd love to know where you are right now so anyway topic has come up so much in the last couple of weeks uh, especially for me but for other some people too and you know what um it's funny because I posted today how um, it really works. I went, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it really, really works. If you're holding on to something, something, you're holding on to something, you're, you're either waiting for something to get better, you're holding on to something that you know you should let go, but you can't really let it go. And I'm talking about maybe some negative stuff. So there's one big, big thing that I had been going through for the last couple of years. Um, I, I'm not going to get into the details of that, but... It was so hard to let this go. So hard to let it go. It's something I was waiting for. I thought something different things were going to happen and it wasn't happening. And literally, like literally the day I made a solid choice to let it go and move on and open myself up to whatever was next, that same exact day I was driving down the street and I had heard about this place this woman that had this place, um, this is beautiful place where, um, to hold events. And, uh, I, I was driving by, I went, Oh, there's that place. And I literally like and went over park, walked in the, 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 um, door and the lady said, Oh my gosh, you're Sue Brooke. And I said, um, yes. How did you know that? And long time start, we started talking and uh, now we're going to be working together. And, and so many opportunities literally came from that one thing. And it was the same day that I made a really solid decision to let this other thing go. And so I was talking to some people and it was like, yeah, you know, I was holding that space, you know, and I, there was no more room to let other things in. Okay. So that happened about two weeks ago today this morning okay so let me let me give you a background so i'm on my phone and i'm hope you don't mind this story again please post where you're coming from because i really want to know where you guys are i see a lot of you watching right now um anyway so this morning i have my phone set early in the morning to do not disturb so i don't hear the phone ringing until i think 8 a.m so um <laughs> you, you'll have to leave a message because my phone won't ring so i had my phone sitting next to me and i was on the computer checking my emails i'd gotten up early and um I was checking my emails and um, all of a sudden, oh, I know what it was. So, <laughs> boy, going off on these tangents. So there's something else that I've been worried about. I was trying to make a decision to become a speaker for a particular company, like a trainer for a company. And what was, I would have to jump through a lot of hoops. I would have to go and take a week off and go get certified and do all these things to become, um, to help them, to, to get hired, I guess, to be a trainer for this company. And it's been just bugging me because I thought, oh, 
I have to stop all the other stuff I'm doing. I have to, it costs a lot of money. I would have to go there. I would have to stay in a hotel. I would have to fly there. Uh, it, would, it was just going to be a hassle, even though I knew it might be kind of fun and a cool thing to have. And I just, it's seriously, I've been hanging on to this for a few months, <laughs> more than a few months, actually. And literally, I went on my email and I said, I'm, you know what, I'm not going to do it. I have too many other opportunities, too many other things went on. And I wrote this letter and said, I'm really sorry. I would love to help you guys out with your company. I'd love to, be, to work with you, but it's just not feasible for me. And I'm really sorry. And um, I literally pushed send on my email and I, something drew me to my phone. And there was a message there. There was, I'm like, oh, well, I didn't hear the phone ringing because my phone was on, do not disturb. And I picked it up and oh my gosh, a huge opportunity to help someone create an amazing compilation book um, that could be very lucrative for me and a lot of fun and it'd be an awesome product project literally seconds after I push send so I am telling you guys I'm just telling you my story I only teach what I know to, to be true and what has been true for me but if you are holding on to something if you have been waiting for something bigger to happen if you've been holding on to the hope that something's gonna happen if you've been um, down and depressed and hurt because of something that you that that didn't go your way or a relationship or a business or something that's not there anymore that's been really taking up space in your mind, in your heart, in your thoughts, if you haven't been sleeping at night, I am telling you, you gotta make a conscious decision to say, you know what, this is not good for me. I don't feel good thinking about all this stuff. It has taken up too much space in my brain, in my thoughts, in, in everything. If you can make a solid decision to let that shit go, let it go, be done with it. I promise you, within it could happen within seconds if you're paying attention. Something bigger, better, and more amazing is gonna happen. And I would love to know if you have any experiences like that because I just did two times in the last couple of weeks and I'm just just so like I'm, I'm really seriously blown away and I'm actually kind of pissed at myself that I let that first thing that I've been holding on for more than a couple of years um, hold me back and take up that space that I could have had other things coming my way so what are you holding on to what are you ready to let go of and are you ready to go move on to bigger and better things in your life and let other people and other things and other awesome opportunities come in so that is my message for today. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, awesome day. Um, I am. It's gorgeous out here. So go have a great one. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see where you guys are coming from. So hi, Richard. Hi, Jen. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. See you soon. Bye-bye.